Yo guys, it's Pokemon Time with Andrew C. I just got back from the store. I picked up a mystery collection box. I managed to find one. So I picked that up and I picked up two Sun and Moon packs. So we're going to be doing a pretty... It's a little bit different opening. I'm going to open up this box. Uh, I'm going to save the Generations pack. And then these two Sun and Moon packs. And we'll do a flip it or rip it with those three packs. So... It's a little bit different than normal. Let's get this box opened up here first, since it takes forever to open these things. So all the glue that they throw in here. All right, we got the seal broken. Let's get all of it out now. And this weekend, probably Saturday, I'm gonna try to go to another um, Guardians Rising pre-release event, so I'll try to have some more cards to show you guys and some packs to open up. All right, we got the box all emptied there. We've got our Generations pack here. Put that off to the side. We got a Pikachu coin. We've got some sleeves here, some primal Groudon sleeves. We've got, um, oh, oh, look at this. We got some world championship cards. There's a little backwards energy. Let's look and see what we managed to get here. Kind of sad we got world championship cards. Those are pretty garbage. <laughs> Got my chop. More world championships. Uh, nothing exciting yet. Our hollow is a promo Sableye. Eh. Not the best pull, but still a hollow. And our mystery item is a card binder. We'll put that off to the side to there. Get these cards moved off to the side so we can start the main event. The flip it or rip it. These cards, I have no use for them, so this is what we're going to do. We'll rip those because they are garbage and you cannot use them anywhere. Alright, Generations. Now let's get these Sun and Moon packs opened up here. I wish the cardboard on the outside would match the packs that are in on the inside. That would be pretty sweet, but it doesn't happen that way. Alright, and our last Sun and Moon pack. Alright, let's get these cards shuffled up here so we can play Flip it or rip it. I'm hoping next Guardian Rising pre-release I go to, I'll get some better cards. Because I last one I went to, I spent $50 and I got a Sylveon GX. And that was it. Nothing else amazing from there. Which is very unfortunate. Alright, let's get these shuffled out now. So we'll have two extra saves, which is just fine. You guys like it when I save cards better than ripping them anyways. Alright, before I start, 
I want you guys to pause the video, go down and comment what you think. Um, if you think I'm going to get an ultra rare or a hollow, or what do you think I'm going to get from that Generations pack that I got? Because Generations has some pretty good pull rates, and I want to know what you guys think I'll get. But let's get started with we'll flip it or rip it. First off, we got a Corsola. And we ripped an energy. We saved an energy. And we're ripping a charge bug. We saved a rainbow energy. Dang, what's with all these energies? Come on. We ripped a pincer. And we saved a swablu. We ripped a Generations Energy. We've got Shelter here, sticking his tongue out, being a weirdo. Oh my gosh. I should have not looked. This is going to be terrible, guys. Oh, oh. Oh my gosh. This rip is going to kill me. I yeah, will save that for the end. I'll reveal it at the end for you guys. We got uh, Caterpie, Parasect, Rotom Dex, we ripped a Reverse Clefairy, no, not Clefairy, we got a Paris, And we ripped a Firo. We saved Olympia. Olympia's a good card. That's nice to save. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Oh. Charizard, you've been ripped. Just kidding. It's Gatterpy. <laughs> Alright, we got Makuhita. Maka Makahita. Oh. That card did not want to rip there. Poison Barb. No. Let's see. We got Repel. Oh my gosh, I see some shine on this one. It is Dragonair. saved another Makuhita. Maka Makuhita. And we're gonna rip a Machop. This Machop is not dabbing like the one from Guardians Rising. Ooh, nice! <laughs> we got Flareon EX. If you guys guessed that I saved a Flareon EX from Generations, then you guessed right, but if you didn't, then you didn't guess right. This card is pretty good. 170 HP, fire type. Is the ability, uh, Flash Fire. Try and get better view for you guys. It says, uh, once during your turn, before you attack, you may move a fire energy attached to one of your Pokemon to this Pokemon. Which is pretty good, because his attack Blaze Ball, three colorless energy, does 50 plus damage. This attack does 20 more damage for each fire energy attached to this Pokemon. So, it's a pretty strong attack. It's doing 110 if all three energies that are on him are fire. Yeah, this, this guy, he has some potential. Let's sleeve you up. I'm definitely glad we didn't rip you because you're one of my faves. And you got Jolteon and, and Vaporeon chilling in the background too. It's a pretty sweet looking card. Alright. Now we shall rip. A young goose. And we will save Pelipper. The little... What is he? The water bird Pokemon. And we're ripping. What is it? 
What is it? What are those? It's a shoulder. And we will save. Max revive. And we will rip. Toad Maru. And our last two saves are Shelter and a little Grubbin. Now it's time to got, show you guys the card that hurts me that I had to rip because it was in the rip pile. <laughs> Decidui GX. We ripped it. And I really need this card, but I know that they're coming out with the box set, so I'm not too worried. But I need three more of these, or two more of these. Can't remember how many I have. I have one or two. And it sucks I had to rip it. Maybe I'll just like tape them back together. No one will notice. There we go. You can't even tell. Good as new. Just kidding. Well, let me know what you guys saw the video. Uh, I always like to hear you guys' opinion. Let me know if you guys want to see anything different. I'm always open to new ideas. And remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. And I will catch you on the next video. Later.